Why would you even do that? Whoa! Dead serious. This is probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Besides my children. This right here. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm. So good! Please stop staring at me. Oh my God, why is this recording? Welcome to today's video. I'm so stoked for you guys to be here today. You guys know I've been talking about adding a little bit more cooking and things like that into this channel and today's the day. I don't know why it's taken this long, but I'm really pumped about this video. I'm also collaborating with a good friend that I've had here on YouTube for a long time. And I don't know why it's taken us this long to do this collaboration, but today's the day and I'm super excited. If you guys have not already heard of Melanie, her channel is In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. She is one of the sweetest people I have ever encountered in my entire life. Every time she uploads a video, I want to immediately go to my kitchen and make everything that she has done. She is down to earth. She's sweet. She's kind. She has the best meal ideas. She's got a whole bunch of ideas on doing things in a budget-friendly way as well. So if for any reason you guys have not watched her channel, I'm going to have all the information linked in my description box. Go and check her out. Let her know that I sent you. And if you are coming over from Melanie's channel, welcome. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't want to do too much of a long intro because I want to get in here. I've got some things that I need to pick up. I've actually already done like a couple little meals, but today we are doing just kind of like a how much you can get and spend and make out of Dollar Tree food. I know. I know. I don't go to the Dollar Tree and look at food really all that much either, but they've got some good things in there, some little gems. So I wanted to take you in there and just kind of show you around and just see a little bit of the stuff that they have at this store. A lot of you guys might have a bigger Dollar Tree that has a lot more, but this is the one right by my house. So we're gonna go in and take a quick look, but then we're gonna get right into the kitchen and start making our yummy Dollar Tree meals. So let's go. Okay, not what we're here for, but how stinking cute are these glasses? And this one, gorgeous. So they actually do have like a really big selection of rice and dry beans, which is awesome. Lentils, I've never had lentils. I wouldn't even know where to begin with that, but I do like this yellow rice. It's really good. You can make so many things with this. If you know, you know. Now I did have to go to two different stores, but I only ended up spending $22.83, I think. So not bad, everything under $23 for five meals. So the first thing I'm going to make is this potato gnocchi, and I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but I do love this stuff. I've had it before, I've not had it from the Dollar Tree, but we're gonna go ahead and make this. And for the sauce, I'm just going to use some of this Alfredo sauce and just some Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in some boiling water. They don't take too long, literally just a couple of minutes. I think it's just until they start to float and then they're done. And for a side, I'm just gonna use two pieces of this Texas toast with garlic Parmesan. Okay, now that these are floating, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the water and start to heat up my Alfredo sauce. Okay, so I added just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of parsley, and now we're gonna try it and I'll tell you how it is. Okay, so I have the little side of the garlic bread and I'm going to give it a taste. It looks good. It looks good, but I'm gonna give you an honest opinion. And I honestly am terrified. Okay. Mm. That's not bad. That's not bad. You wanna try it? If you guys couldn't tell by the background, I'm not at home because my power's out. So my mother so graciously let me use her kitchen. So I'm gonna make her try all of these foods. So come here, Debbie. If 
If you guys have not met Debbie, this is Debbie. Take a bite. It's not bad. It tastes just like Alfredo gnocchi. It's not hot. Not bad. Not bad. What would you give this out of 10 for a Dollar Tree meal? <laughs> what was that look? Oh, it stuck to my tooth. Oh. And so, know. for a Dollar Tree meal. For a Dollar Tree meal, I'd give it a 7. Yeah. It's not bad. It really isn't. And you get a lot. There's a lot of that in there. Not bad. I'm sure the bread would make it better, too. Mm -hmm. Do you want to buy it? No, I'm just saying. Okay. Bread's good. Mm-hmm. I, too, will give this one a 7 out of 10. Not bad. I hope the rest of them go just as well. Okay, so the next meal idea that I had was to go ahead and use the rest of this Texas toast and then add on top of it some of this ziti from Michelinas. I do love these little meals and I think they're really good. And then I'm going to add some of this cheese on top of it and bake that in the oven. Okay, so I went ahead and baked the toast. That way it's not gonna get like all soggy. And now that this is done from the microwave, I'm just going to add this on top and then I'm gonna put some cheese on top of that and put it right back into the oven just to let that melt. And I'm going to load this up with cheese. <laughs> because I honestly feel like that's going to help it. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is just a Mexican blend cheese, but obviously you can use whatever you want. This is just the only option that I had at the store. All right, so I put these in the oven on broil for literally like, I don't know, five or seven minutes, and I think it's the Dollar Tree cheese, but it just <laughs> won't melt. But we're gonna try them and see how they are. Very good. Even the cheese. I don't know what it is, it just won't melt, but this is tasty. I would make this again. Very good. All right, I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm going to do the cheddar broccoli pasta. I love the Nor sides one of this, so hopefully this one is just as good. Now it does call for milk and butter. I did not get milk and butter from the store because I already had it, but they do have milk and butter at the Dollar Tree and I'm sure that it's okay. <laughs> But to that, I'm going to add some of this shredded white chicken. I just think with a little bit of this, it will make it more of a meal. And for the side, I'm gonna make these Pillsbury cheddar garlic biscuits. These are drop biscuits, and they also call for milk and shredded cheddar cheese. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of the cheese that I used for the little garlic bread and, um, what was that called? What was that called? The little spaghetti bake things that I did. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of the cheese for that. Go ahead and get this to a boil. That way we can add the noodles. So while I'm waiting for that to start boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, whipping these little biscuits up in my bowl. Again, you just need a half cup milk and some cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna use the rest of this cheese. Well, no, I have to save some of this for another meal. So I'll just use a little bit of this, not all of it. Okay, now that this is pretty much done, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the chicken to it. That way it can be heated up with the pasta at the same time. And I do wanna add that I drained this very, very well. 
I was really excited about this one and I hope it turns out well. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed. And this is how the little drop biscuits turned out. I think these are going to be good. I know that I remember my mom making these little Bisquick drop biscuits all the time. So I'm hoping these are as good as those were. Okay, this is the one that I had high hopes for. It doesn't look amazing, but I hope it's good. Not bad. Now let me try best tip. Mmm. Good. Ah. Very good. I'd give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It's good. And you can really, um, like, season this up. And that's another thing that I've noticed. Dollar Tree has a ton of seasonings. A ton. Let me show you. Let me show you what I found. I keep seeing this all over the place, this Dano seasoning, and I know that you can really only find it like online, but they had just like a little pack of it, and I went ahead and grabbed it. I haven't tried it on anything yet, but they do have a ton of spices, so if you need to like stock up your pantry or anything like that, I think you're, you're pretty good to go to the Dollar Tree and grab something that they've got there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do something just very basic, very old-fashioned. I've got some beans. And I've got some cornbread. This will take you for days, I feel like. You can feed like half an army with just some beans and cornbread. So I decided to go ahead and do that with this challenge as well. So again, this does call for milk and eggs, which I did not buy at the store because I already had it. But it is there if you need it. Um, I feel certain that it's pretty okay for you to buy it there. I don't know. Again, there was like some, um, I don't know, something going on. I don't know if they were getting like new coolers or something, but pretty much like both of the stores that I went to, the coolers were on the fritz. So um, I wouldn't have got it out of there anyways. And I've already dirtied up all of mom's forks. So we're just gonna use this little, uh, it's a steak stabber. We'll just use that. Anything works. So I decided to just go ahead and do the cornbread and like these little muffin, you know, muffin pan. I don't know how many of these are supposed to make, but we'll do, we'll do what we can. We'll see before I make a mess out of everything. We will slide these in here for 15 to 20 minutes, I think, and then I'll go ahead and put the beans in the pot, and I think I'm going to add some seasoning to them, just kind of help them along. I'm going to go ahead and add the beans, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use this Dano's seasoning packet. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but it does say the ingredients are dehydrated garlic and an onion, spices, sea salt, mustard seed, lemon peel, and orange peel, so... I mean, it can be bad, right? It says, replace your salt and pepper, grate on vegetables, chicken, fish, steak, seafood, pork, and everything else. So we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of this to the beans just to give them some flavor. I mean, anything that you put in beans can't be bad, right? Okay, you guys, beans and cornbread, a staple in my house. Um, I figure you can't really <coughs> up beans and cornbread, but the beans aren't, aren't aren't very beany, if that makes sense. They're very pale, like me. Um, I'll, let me show you what they look like, hold on. All right, so see how they don't have like a lot of color? I don't know, I think I'm just, I don't know. I don't know, let's just, let's see how they taste. The cornbread though, does look amazing. I do wish I had thought about grabbing a can of creamed corn because they did have that there. And a lot of times when I make cornbread, I will add a little bit of creamed corn to my cornbread muffins. It just makes it a little more authentic, but I forgot to do that. So if you wanna do that, 
um, have at it because I do know that they have corn or creamed corn at the Dollar Tree. I did see it. Okay, let's see if the Danos made any difference at all with the beans. I'm hoping so because I didn't add anything else to it. Usually I do like a little um, fat back or whatever when I'm doing my beans, but they didn't have any of that at the Dollar Tree. So I'm hoping that the Danos helped. Okay, not bad at all. I'm very impressed. Very, very, very impressed with this one. Um, again, I think the corn and the little cornbread muffins would have helped a little bit, but also season it up. They have like um, garlic salt, all that stuff. A huge variety of seasonings at the Dollar Tree, I wanted to tell you. I just didn't grab it in because I already had it and I didn't need it, but this will be 10 times better if you seasoned it really well, which I didn't. I just used that Danos, but it's still really, really good and this will fill you up and feed, uh, I don't know, I like a lot of beans. I'm a little stingy with my frijoles, but I don't know, maybe three people, depending on, you know, how much you serve, definitely would last you though. Okay, my little corn fritters. This is the last meal that I'm doing and I'm kind of, there's a reason why I've saved this for the last one because I'm kind of terrified. Um, I'm gonna do like these little refried bean and cheese, like little burritos. I got these um, fresh and soft corn tortillas. So I'm gonna take these, then I'm gonna use the refried beans, which it's in a package and you put it in the microwave. I already have mixed feelings. So we're gonna go ahead and microwave that and then we're gonna spread some of this onto the uh, little burrito. I mean the, um, you know what I mean, tortilla. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of what's left of my shredded cheese. And then I'm going to fry them in a little bit of oil in a shallow pan. I'm terrified. Also, for the side, I'm going to do this Spanish rice. Now, if you guys have been here before, if you know me, if you are not new, um, my fiance, husband, whatever you want to call him, he is Hispanic. His mother also, obviously, is Hispanic, and she lives with us. And we have a lot of authentic Hispanic food in our house, and this just feels like blasphemy to me. But we're gonna try it because, you know, not everybody has the luxury of having their, you know, Spanish mother-in-law in your house to cook Spanish food. So, let's go ahead and get right into these because, again, like I said, I'm terrified. I don't know if I'm afraid of setting the house on fire, having a, a grease fire, or this just tasting like absolute dog crap, okay? So, let's just Let's do it. Let's do it. I've been holding off on this one for too long. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, first things first, we'll go ahead and put this in the microwave, which I feel really, really weird about, but we're going to go ahead and do it. That's what the instructions say for a minute and a half. Okay, so the beans are done, and I'm actually just going to put them, ooh, they're hot, into a bowl to make it easier for me to work with. Yeah, and they probably need to be mixed up too. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this is just take one of the tortillas, which it's already tearing apart on me, but we're gonna take one tortilla and then I'm gonna put just some of the beans on that. There's birds, I have the door open and there are birds like just having a field day out there. I mean, you do you boo. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of the beans in there and then a little bit of the shredded cheese. And then I'm going to, I hope this doesn't break apart, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over and then put it into my hot skillet that's um, got the oil in it. Okay, and I have tongs because I'm legitimately terrified of this.
Okay, now that the little tacos are done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice in the microwave. It says to tear the top one inch, I guess for venting purposes, and go ahead and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So, let's see what this brings. Okay, rice is done. It's got a weird smell. It's got a weird smell. Hold on, let me get it in a bowl and we'll, we'll discuss. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. Okay. Maybe if we fluffed her a little bit, that might help. Let's see. I don't know. It still has that nasty smell. I'm sad. I was kind of like hoping for a, um, what's it called? I don't know. I was kind of hoping that all of these would be good, but I can already tell by the smell of this, I'm not going to be impressed. I don't think any amount of seasoning is going to help this. Okay, so I'm not really gonna call these burrito tacos because I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what classifies this or any taco as a burrito taco, but let me show you what they look like. They look amazing actually. And I could pair these with some like um, tomatoes and sour cream or anything like that. Now they do have sour cream at the Dollar Tree. I just didn't get it because I already have sour cream and I thought that was a waste of money for me to buy it if I didn't need it but it is there so you could get it to go with these tacos I just don't think it's gonna help you with this rice I really don't I really don't I love y'all that is the only reason the only reason I'm taking a bite of this because it literally smells like I don't even have a word. I don't. Okay, here we go. Mm. It's a very heavy, like, um, tomato base, which is okay. It very much tastes like it smells. Not for me. Not for me. Um, I would probably go ahead and make like the yellow rice or jasmine rice, which was actually at the Dollar Tree as well that I showed you earlier. But I figured I would go ahead and try the Spanish rice because, I mean, it's already got the seasoning the seasoning in it. Um, but you can get you some adobo. And I also think that they have, oh, I can't remember what the name of it is. There's another seasoning in a packet you can use for Spanish rice, and I did see it there as well. But I do want to take a bite of this little taco. I'm excited for this one. I'm also terrified, so let's see. Y'all? I don't know what I was so afraid of. This right here, amazing, amazing. They also, okay, they also had like uh, little cans of the enchilada sauce. You could have that to dip it in. Um, so many things, so many things, but even just this by itself with literally Dollar Tree tortillas refried beans and some cheese come on come on this is amazing 10 out of 10 okay i can't stop eating these little taco things um but but i 
I do want to say how actually surprised I am with how good this stuff was. I've never in a million years thought to look at food at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just not something that I do. Not to say that there's anything wrong with it whatsoever because now I'm going to be looking at it like, that's not that bad. And if you need to buy it, buy it. But I didn't have anything that I really, really, really didn't like. That rice, though. That rice, though. I could have done without that. But everything else, everywhere, anywhere from a 7 to a 10 out of 10. These tacos. Mmm. Mmm. The little crunch. The beans and cheese. And that's just plain. Could you imagine? If you got some sour cream or some of that enchilada sauce. Mmm. -hmm. But. So good. I'm impressed. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you're new again, thank you so much for coming to watch. Thank you to Melanie for collaborating with me. I don't know why it's taken us this long. Um, we've been friends on here forever, but thank you. I love you. And if you've come over from Melanie's channel, hello and welcome. Thank you again for coming to watch. Please, if you are into realistic, real life, down to earth, cleaning videos, decluttering, cooking, meals for two or anything of that nature please stick around i would love for you to become a part of my youtube family also don't forget to go and follow me over on instagram we have tons of fun there i'm a little bit crazy um maybe a lot of bit crazy but it's okay we all are right i just like to show it on the outside but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little bit something different i had a ton of fun making it and uh i gotta go i need to clean up this mess before my mom tears my hind end up. So thank you so much again for being here. I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.